Ever wondered why women never say what they really mean? Or why they remember every single detail of that one argument from 2005? Well, welcome to our exploration of the mystique of the female mind. We'll be diving into the ocean of enigmas, navigating the whirlpool of emotions, and trying to decipher the intricate labyrinth that is a woman's thought process. But let's keep it light and remember, we're simply venturing into playful generalizations, not setting concrete rules. But remember, these are just playful generalizations, not the rule. Now, before we dive deeper, let's get one thing straight. While we're about to embark on a whimsical journey of dating and relationships, remember that each person is a unique masterpiece. So keep in mind, while we're having fun here, not everything applies to everyone. Now, who doesn't love a good dating story? We've all had our fair share of dating blunders and bloopers, haven't we? Like that time when John thought his date wanted to go to a wrestling match because she wore a WrestleMania t-shirt. Turned out, it was her brother's shirt she just grabbed on her way out. Or how about Sarah, who thought her date hated her cooking because he always ate so fast. Little did she know, he was just trying to impress her with his, hmm, healthy appetite. And then there's Mike, who thought his girlfriend was mad at him every time she said fine. Well, we all know how that one goes, right? These stories remind us that dating is a journey, a dance of sorts filled with missteps and laughter and most importantly, learning. And that, folks, is why communication is key. Speaking of communication, here's our take on it. Imagine you're trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. That's what communication in relationships can feel like sometimes. But fear not, we've got some humorous tips to help you out. Tip 1. Try to decipher the code. When they say fine, it could mean anything from I'm really okay to World War 3 is about to start. Tip 2. Remember that silences aren't always awkward. Sometimes they're just comfortable pauses. And tip 3. Honesty is the best policy, but delivering it with a dash of humor can spare some feelings. These are just playful takes on communication, folks. In reality, it's about being open, clear, and respectful. Remember, it's not just about talking, but also about listening and understanding. Ever wondered what it would be like if the roles were reversed? Now, let's take a playful dive into the world of what ifs. Imagine a parallel universe where traditional gender roles are flipped on their heads. Picture the man waiting by the phone, nervously overanalyzing a text message, while the woman, engrossed in a game of football, barely notices her buzzing phone. Or envision the woman, late from work, stressing over the perfect anniversary gift, while the man is at home, excitedly trying a new recipe for dinner. It's a humorous and interesting thought experiment, isn't it? It highlights the fact that navigating relationships and understanding each other can be tricky for everyone. See, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? At the end of the day, it all boils down to one thing. Empathy, understanding and appreciating each other's unique qualities is what makes us human. It's what makes our relationships rich, diverse and ultimately more rewarding. So next time you find yourself puzzled by someone's actions or words, Remember this, everyone is a world unto themselves, complete with their own set of experiences, perspectives and quirks. So let's celebrate our differences and learn from them. We're sure you've got some funny dating stories of your own. Have there been moments of misunderstandings, laughable missteps or maybe a role reversal that turned out to be surprisingly amusing? Drop them in the comments section. We can't wait to hear your stories.